New York Observer, the self-described teen tycoon, admits it's all a sham. You seem to be quoted saying eight figures. That's not true, is it? No, it is not true. Is there any figure? Have you invested and made returns at all? No. So it's total fiction? Yes. Ken Kersen interviewed Mohammed and his friend Demir Tumagenbatov, who also took part in the hoax. I think that, that he wanted to impress people and, you know, told a, a few fibs and got this reputation as this master investor. And once that reputation is rolling, how do you unwind it? In this week's issue of New York Magazine, Mohammed is ranked number 12 of reasons to love New York because he made $72 million trading stocks on his lunch break. We want to create a brotherhood like Coke Brothers over freshly squeezed apple juice, Mohammed told the reporter. Like in Wolf of Wall Street, Demir said. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. <laughs> New York Magazine has since retracted the story's title, and the online article contains an editor's note which states, Our story portrays the $72 million figure as a rumor. Mohammed provided bank statements that showed he is worth eight figures, and he confirmed on the record that he's worth eight figures. People want stories, they want them fast, but they also want them right. And there's tension between getting it up there quickly and getting it up there correctly. Mohammed Islam's representatives say his millions are about as real as Monopoly money. The t uh, teenager says he is especially sorry for embarrassing his family. New York Magazine says their fact-checking process was obviously inadequate and that they should have known better. Maurice? Okay, Dana, thank you.